to the today our lecture about Rai Chaudhuri equation how to derive in general relativity Rai Chaudhuri equation is a fundamental equation this equation gives the temporal behavior of gravity cloud on the basis of the Einstein equation under very general condition this differential equation governing the special expansion or contraction let consider the Einstein equation with cosmological constant this is the Einstein field equation r mu nu minus half g mu nu r 8 by g c to the power 4 t mu nu minus lambda g mu nu here r mu nu is a Ricci tensor g mu nu is a metric tensor r is a Ricci scalar and g is the gravitational constant c is the velocity of the light t mu nu is the energy momentum tensor lambda is a cosmological constant g mu nu is a metric tensor taking trace of this and we have trace r mu nu equal to minus 8 pi g c to the power 4 t plus 4 lambda now this value putting on this value we have r mu nu r mu nu equal to 8 pi g c to the power 4 of g mu nu minus half t g mu nu plus lambda g mu nu now this is the einstein equation in terms of energy momentum field tensor now here is the assumption here is the assumption the energy momentum tensor the energy momentum tensor for a perfect fluid the energy momentum tensor for a perfect fluid this is the energy momentum tension for a perfect fluid we have t mu nu equal to rho c square plus p u mu u nu minus p g mu nu where rho is the density p is the pressure and u mu is the derivative of dx mu with respect to ds okay t mu nu equal to rho c square plus p u mu u nu minus p g mu nu taking trace now taking trace where g mu nu u mu u nu equal to u mu u nu for the um, rearrangement the dummy index equal to 1 this is equal to 1 because dx mu dx because dx mu dx mu part ds ds equal to 1 now g mu nu t mu nu now g mu nu t mu nu equal to t rho c square minus 3p minus 3p okay here we have um, where when this g mu nu multiplied by this both side of this equation and we have this is the one this is the um, this is carrying to the one and this is to be one and when we when this is um, when we subtract this we have rho c square equal to minus 3p okay now we have t mu nu equal to t mu nu equal to t mu nu u mu u nu equal to rho c square plus p u mu u nu u mu u nu minus p g mu nu u mu u nu now we have r mu nu u mu u nu equal to 4 pi g c to the power 4 rho c square plus 3 p plus lambda <laughs> this is the cosmological constant now step 2 the expansion or construction of the volume of the collection of particles having u mu as they are fall under the under their own gravity characterized by the diverging of u mu we have we have the capital theta the capital theta equal to the covariant derivative of u mu covariant derivative of mu thus we have we have covariant derivative of u mu equal to del mu u mu plus gamma mu mu lambda u lambda okay. this quantity is important as will be seen introduce introduce h mu nu equal to g mu nu minus u mu u nu where h mu nu u mu u nu equal to zero now the volume of the collection of the particle u mu in the step 2 may be distorted in the shape without change in the volume this distortion is characterized by the symmetric tensor sigma mu nu traceless orthogonal mu define as 
the faceless author and media definers where sigma mu nu equal to u u covariant derivative nu minus 1 by 3 capital theta h mu nu u mu and u nu okay now this is the notation and then we have this is the notation half u mu comma nu u mu covariant derivative nu u nu covariant derivative mu minus 1 by 3 capital theta g mu nu minus u mu u nu minus half u dot mu u nu plus u dot nu u mu where u dot mu equal to covariant derivative of u mu multiple by u nu in other word sigma mu nu equal to half u mu covariant derivative of nu u nu covariant derivative of mu minus 1 by 3 capital theta g mu nu u mu u nu minus half u mu covariant derivative lambda u lambda u nu and u nu u lambda u lambda u mu step 4 step 4 rotation of the volume of the collection of the particle without change the shape characterized by the anti-semitic tensor orthogonal to u mu now we have omega mu nu equal to omega mu nu equal to u covariant derivative of nu u nu covariant derivative of mu u dot mu u nu this is the notation where omega mu nu equal to half u mu nu u nu mu minus half u dot mu u dot nu u nu u mu half u mu dot nu u nu mu u nu lambda u lambda u lambda u nu lambda u lambda u mu step 5 step 5 possible acceleration of the collection due to the non gravitational force characterized by u dot mu u mu nu u nu orthogonal to u mu here we have this um, sigma mu nu um, now sigma mu nu u nu is a zero g mu nu sigma mu nu is a zero omega mu nu u nu is a zero now step six the quantity u covariant derivative of u mu being the covariant tensor of rank 2 can be resolved as covariant derivative of nu u mu sigma mu nu omega mu nu minus 1 by 3 capital theta g mu nu minus u mu u nu u dot mu u nu the above relation is little involved usual usual one can resolve tensor rank to symmetric and anti-symmetric one u mu nu sigma mu nu omega mu nu 1 by 3 theta g mu nu u mu u nu u mu lambda u lambda u nu step 7 we know now step 7 we know we derived that earlier um, lecture video we know v rho mu nu v rho nu mu minus of rho um, lambda mu nu u v lambda constructing constructing p and mu using u for v we have u mu mu nu u mu nu mu minus r mu lambda nu nu lambda multiplying by u nu using capital theta u mu mu we have u we have theta equal to u mu we have theta equal to u nu nu minus u mu nu nu u nu minus r mu nu lambda mu nu u u lambda u nu now r mu r mu 
alpha mu beta equal to r alpha beta this is the einstein this is the ricky tensor rickmanian curvature tensor and ricky tensor theta nu u nu minus u mu lambda nu nu minus r lambda nu u lambda u nu this is the step 7 Now step 8 we need we need u mu nu mu u nu consider to be u mu nu u nu mu which is which is u mu nu for the concept to be this and which is u mu nu u nu u this is the covariant derivative this um, this symbol means covariant derivative nu equal to u mu nu u nu mu this is the ordinary derivative okay this is the ordinary derivative gamma mu mu rho u rho nu u nu u mu nu nu u mu nu u mu nu u nu mu plus gamma mu mu rho u rho nu u nu u mu nu nu u gamma mu rho u rho nu u nu and we have this is the recall this equation and then recall that equation u mu nu nu u mu nu nu gamma mu mu rho gamma rho nu gamma rho nu mu u mu rho now u mu nu u nu this is the equation and u mu nu mu gamma rho nu mu gamma rho mu nu gamma nu nu mu rho u nu u mu nu u nu mu this is the covalent derivative this is the ordinary derivative Now, u mu nu u nu u mu u mu nu mu u nu gamma nu rho mu u mu nu u rho u mu nu u nu mu u mu nu nu u nu and u mu nu u nu mu gamma rho gamma nu rho mu u rho u mu nu mu u mu u u mu new u new mu and u thus we have new new mu u u new u mu new u new mu u new mu u new mu so we have now this is the theta new u new equal to u mu new u new mu u mu new and u new mu minus r lambda new u lambda u new now step nine this term u mu nu and u nu mu can be evaluated by by um, can be evaluated in doing we shall make use the result sigma mu nu less orthogonal to the u mu and omega mu orthogonal to the u nu and u dot mu orthogonal to the u mu now we have u mu nu u nu mu equal to u mu nu u nu mu uh, equal to sigma mu nu plus omega mu nu plus 1 part 3 theta g mu nu u mu u nu and u mu dot, dot u nu cross u sigma mu nu mu omega nu mu 1 part 3 theta g mu nu minus u nu u mu plus u dot nu u mu Now we have u mu nu u nu mu sigma mu nu sigma nu mu omega mu nu omega nu mu plus one part three theta square sigma mu nu equal sigma mu nu omega mu nu omega mu plus one part three theta square. Now step ten. Usually sigma mu nu and sigma mu nu equal to two sigma square omega mu nu omega mu nu equal to two omega square. Then we have um, theta theta nu u mu equal to minus 2 sigma square plus 2 plus 2 omega square minus 1 part 3 square minus 1 part 3 minus theta square part 3 minus r lambda mu u lambda u nu u mu nu u nu and we have now we have from from this upper equation we have e lambda mu nu u lambda u lambda equal to 4 pi g c to the power 4 so c square plus 3p plus lambda now we have 
have uh, u mu dot equal to u mu nu u nu we have um, said theta dot whole theta dot this is this is the whole equation to be theta dot then to be theta dot okay. then we have theta dot equal to minus 2 sigma square plus 2 omega square minus 1 pi 3 square 3 4 pi gc to the power 4 4 pi gc to the power 4 rho c square plus 3 p minus lambda and u dot mu covariant derivative and u mu this is the celebrated as rai choudhury equation rai choudhury equation has been derived from general consideration no specific metric use it gives the rate of change of the volume a collection of particle and has various term in its right side contribution we have the geodesic equation to geodesic equation to two geodesic right so the equation gives the conjugates of collection of particle moving in space time okay the um, the vorticity omega under expansion will the shear sigma induce contraction the acceleration action term introduce um, expansion consider a situation in which omega equal to 0 and r mu nu u mu nu greater than equal to 0 so rho c square plus 3p greater than equal to 0 then we have d theta part ds less than equal to minus 1 part 3 theta square which is the integrated by the minus 1 part theta of s less than equal to minus 1 part 3 s plus a a is a integration constant and simply minus 1 part theta of 0 thus we have minus 1 part theta of s greater than equal to 1 part theta of 0 plus 1 part 3 s so if time like vector of the particle was initially converging that is the um, theta of 0 less than 0 then theta of s greater than equal to minus theta mod theta of 0 plus 1 part 3 s and s equal to 3 mod 1 part theta then we see theta of s tends to minus m this means the set of time like vector of the particle initially converging the geodesic focus singularity point this such result significance um, implication in the singularity of space time okay